Hi everyone. Uh, good morning, good afternoon. Uh, this is a quick review. I just got um my Mazda 3, this 2005 model. Um, just wanna check to see how the Mazda uh, look like before I get a new one. So so far so good. Um, I'm not disappointed. The Mazda car is a wonderful car. I just got it yesterday, and. Uh, so far so good i'm enjoying the uh, the service of the car and as you can see like the car here doesn't have uh, this for the mirror uh sorry the window the glass to shut uh, the glass from being uh, maybe you have kids around and uh, you don't want the glass to you know uh, don't want them to play with the glass so you can uh, lock it here but one thing I discover is uh, the it doesn't have central door lock. And another thing I just discovered this is normally well when the the button is closed, it means the door is closed. The uh, when is when show red here, you open it needs to open. But what I discover is I don't know if this if it's a fault or this is how Mazda designed your car. I don't know. Even when you lock it, it doesn't really, it doesn't do anything. So you open it, it's still the same thing. So it just, except when I lock it with a key, and it, it doesn't even move. So the key, it doesn't function. I don't know if it's a setting. I don't know if uh, maybe something wrong with it. I don't know if that is how Mazda designed the car. You can only lock this, the, the driver door with the, the uh, remote but the rest of the doors are okay they lock with the uh, lock button but only the driver seat side but i'm still going to take it to uh, my car specialist so they check it to see if uh, something's wrong with it then they can fix it and uh, what i want to show you is how to set your time the clock is quite in some other cars you see the clock when they put the clock button and uh, they'll show you other two buttons which you can ch change the um, that adjust it up or you adjust it downward uh, so but on this Mazda 3 I don't know if it's other models are like that but this particular one 2005 is not there's no nothing like that you just have this clock button and uh, I went on YouTube to see if I can see anyone who has done it who made a video out there to help other people um, how to set the clock. So they said, once I see other Mazda today, they said you have to press the clock button, hold it, then it will bring hour. When it brings hour, then you click on it, it will bring minute. Now you see the minute is uh, blinking now. So, and they say to change the minute, you have to come to your uh, uh, radio select, selection button. So when I try, this is radio selection button, it doesn't work. So when I click it, the moment I click it, the time stop blinking. So I, it took me time to figure out myself how it works. So this is it. You press the clock, hold it, then the hour start blinking. Then you press it again, press it again, then the minute start blinking. So once it start blinking, you come press this your info, info button. So once you press your info button, you see it's 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, just like that. So the info button is the adjustment. It doesn't have up and down, it only have one way. So you now I'm going back to 30, 37. So I have to keep pressing until I get to 37. So that is how this particular model 2005. I don't know if all the two cars matter. Mazda, they somehow they made all their car in one year. They make one particular brand, but different functions. So uh, anyway, it's a good one. And uh, like I said, the Mazda is cheap to maintain. I just did um, the uh, the insurance now, so the insurance is 
um, when I I I, I used to have a Toyota Yaris 2010 model, and I was paying uh, 40 uh, euro for that. I'm in Germany, so I don't know about other country. I'm in Germany. I used to pay 40 euro for the uh, insurance. So and that uh, that the Toyota Yaris 1.3. And then this uh, Mazda 3 is 1.6. And the insurance, I just came back from the insurance of company. They have said I have to pay 50 euro monthly for the insurance of this uh, Mazda 3. So the difference is not much. Even though the um, HP is very, uh, the difference is a bit okay, uh, much but the price the insurance price is not much so the car sound very well sound well so let me just start it so it sound well and um, so far so good from what i have seen if you get one of these uh, you won't regret it you won't regret it and another thing no car lasts forever even human being created by God doesn't last forever. So we just hope that we get a better car. Not a car you get today. In the next few days, you start spending, putting money on it and changing a lot of things. But we hope to get a better car that will last us at least two years before we start spending unnecessarily on it. And um, used car... Uh, you can predict use car can be uh, somehow frustrating but uh, you have to be careful but you can cannot be too careful because there are people who are not sincere there are people who are some people will tell you what whatever the experience in the car if there's something you need to do some people will tell you but some will never tell you they would they just want to dispose the car and mind you anyone who wants to sell his or her used car there's a reason for it. He just don't doesn't want to sell it because he want to sell. There's a reason why the person is selling the car, is putting the car away. It could be that the car is giving him a hard problem. It could be that the person wants to change from a smaller car to a bigger car or from a bigger car to a smaller car or the person just wants to change the brand. So that is it. Okay, thank you. Have a nice day.